Just wanted to show off a possible bug with the Einstein 640s in combination with the Power MC2. Uh, if, apparently, if you hit the depth of field preview button on your camera, it will turn on the monolamp lamp on the Einstein, even though you have the monolamp lamp turned off, and you specifically disable modeling light control on your TT1 or TT5 transmitter on your camera. And that's how I usually run my my uh, TT1, TT5 configuration, so I don't accidentally turn on my modeling lamp if I intentionally turn it off and I'm running on battery because I don't want it to turn on while I'm on battery otherwise it'll drain it quick. So as you can see I have an Einstein 640 set up, my lamp is turned off, TT1 of a Canon 5D Mark II, show that they're communicating with each other on a control TL channel, um, modeling lamp is turned off, I'm going to go ahead and hit the depth of field preview button and you'll notice that the modeling lamp just turned on, full power, in uh, independent uh, independent independent mode from the uh, strobe power, and as you can see, it went ahead and went to some sleep mode where it's a little bit under one one twenty eighth of the power, but it's still on. I hit the depth of field preview button again. It jumped back up. It's going to stay on, and it drops back down. But it's still on even though it's at low power, and it won't turn off no matter how long you wait. Um, this is just a little behavior that you should probably be aware of just in case you're out, you know, outdoors running on battery. Um, you need to be aware that hitting that depth of field preview button will, will turn on your monitor lamp and if you're not aware of it, you'll be running that while on battery and your battery will die pretty quick. So just be aware of that issue. Apparently there's no workaround for this at this point um, if you're on control TL. If you're on a standard channel, it won't happen. Uh, because control TL is supposed to emulate the uh, ETTL features over wireless or radio and that's why it's doing this behavior when you hit the depth of field preview button because that's what it usually does if you have a 580 or any kind of speed light on your hot chip it'll actually activate the flash in the strobe mode to uh, simulate a modeling lamp so if you're using standard channels it won't happen but if you're on control TL just be aware that that could be an issue if you're outdoors on battery uh, may be a problem uh, I think Pocket Wizard might already know about it, and hopefully they do, and they'll fix this issue. Such that, at least, if you do accidentally hit the depth of field preview button, that it will it will let you use the monitor lamp if you want to, but then it'll automatically turn off, or, you know, go back off, because that would be the proper behavior. But in this case, it's not turning off, it's just going to low power.